Evening Liverpool, you alright? Yeah. yeah! God, I'm a bit harassed today, bit of a bit of a weird day today, but uh, earlier on I cheered myself up and booked a surprise holiday. <laughs> yeah, surprise holiday, I'm uh, really looking forward to it, I'm getting excited already, getting feeling really good about it and thinking about the look on my wife and little boy's faces when they find out where we've gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Oh, it's brilliant. Because uh, it's a bit tight, really, because my little boy's not been well recently, and um, he wouldn't take his medicine. So I remember, right, we recently got a dog. So I thought, with the dog, when he needs medicine, we put his medicine in the food. So I did that with my little boy, and he took his medicine, and he's so much better now. And do you know what? He fucking loves pedigree chum. <laughs> oh, you should see him. Oh, he's bounding about all over the place. His hair's nice and shiny. His eyes are full of life. Just needs to stop dragging his ass across the carpet. <laughs> Bit of a problem, but uh, yeah, we have got a dog, and uh, our dog's really, really fucking embarrassing. Whenever anyone comes round, right, he's always harassing them and sniffing at the crotch. And the worst thing is, he's only a chihuahua, so I have to lift him up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking weird, but um, yeah, a bit of a crazy time recently for me. I actually lost my job. Yeah, I lost my day job. Um, I, I wouldn't mind, but I recently did a test at work, and I got 100%. Woo! Woo! Yeah, it's a drugs test. Uh, bit of a problem. It wasn't my fault though. It wasn't my fault. I'll be honest with you, this year I hit 40 in age and pedestrians. Um, yeah, um, wasn't my fault. It was my birthday, right? And when I turned 40, my missus said to me, It's your big birthday, Neil. What should I get you? I said, You know what? I fancy a new iPad. Will you get me an iPad? She goes, Yeah, okay, I'll, go, I'll get you an iPad. So anyway, I wake up on my birthday morning and I open in all my presents. And I get to hers, and she hadn't got me an iPad at all. She got me a tablet. It was cyanide. <laughs> Only joking, it was LSD. So there I was. I was stood on the top of Runcorn Bridge with a cape tin on each foot and a baguette under each arm. I'm looking down the bridge, and Chris Akabusi's down there going, You can do it, Neil! You can do it, Neil! You can do it, Neil! I turn round, and my dad's there with a bacon butty, and he says, I put red sauce on it, Neil. I said, All right. So I was like, Yeah, fine, dad, no worries. <laughs> So I looked back down, and then, then, I took the LSD. <laughs> and that's when I lost my job, yes. Oh, but um, it's, it's, it's fun, really, because um, I'm a married man now. I've been married 12 years this year. Woo! Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right, but hey, the appraisals are going well this year, which, which helps. But uh, we're at that point now where it's difficult to keep that spark alive in the bedroom. Are we familiar with this? You know, yeah, you have to keep trying things, try different things, you know, like maybe dress up, wear a schoolgirl outfit maybe, stockings, suspenders, yeah. Sometimes she might wear them as well, which is great, but um, yeah, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about me anymore, I want to know about you Liverpool, let's do a quick survey with you guys tonight. Well, well you let me know, right, you guys in the room tonight, how many of you out there have a knobhead neighbour? Yeah. Woo! Yeah? Anyone not say you have? Bad news, you are the knobhead neighbour. <laughs> yeah, the knobhead neighbour, for those of you who don't know, is always that one, if you're outside your place doing a job right. In my instance, right, I was cleaning the car and you always say that same knobhead thing when you walk past you and you're doing something. It's cleaning the car. And she walks past and sees me doing that. And she goes, ha ha, you can do mine next. Ha ha ha, and fucking walks on. I thought, you knobhead. I'm going to get you back. And do you know what? Yesterday my chance came to get her back. It was brilliant. The postman came with a parcel for them, but they weren't in. So I thought, right, good neighbour Neil, I'm going to take it in for them. I'll drop it around later when they're home. So I noticed their car was back on their drive later on. So I thought, good neighbour Neil, I'm going to take it round for them. So as I'm walking down their drive to get to their front door, you go past their front window, and I happened to glance in, and I saw Mr. Nobet neighbour in his armchair like that. <laughs> and I saw Mrs. Nobet neighbour's head. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought, shit, what am I going to do here? This is really, really awkward. I managed to summon up every bit of class and dignity I had in my body. And I tapped on the window. I said, ha ha, you can do mine next, love. Ha ha ha. Nobbed. <laughs> do you know what? They're a really weird couple they are. They've got two kids, right? They named them after the word he met. So they've got two kids. Call of Duty and Black Ops 2. <laughs> weirdos. I'll leave her with this story, actually, folks, because uh, she's one of these girls, right? I actually saw her at Aintree this year. Any, any race goes in tonight? Yeah? Brilliant. 
We all know what ladies' day is, though, don't we? Yeah, just let me get a drink. Yeah, for those who don't know what Ladies' Day is, right, she knows I'm going to talk about it, and that's why she's going. <laughs> <laughs> ladies' Day is an excuse for all the local girls to go to the races one day, spend three grand on a dress that they can hitch up around the waist to have a piss in the urinal. <laughs> You've really got to be there, it's great, it's great. But I saw Mrs. Nobed neighbour and two of her mates coming out of races uh, as I was waiting for my taxi. And uh, as I'm watching them, I can only think of one thing as I'm watching them going for this taxi, so cast your minds to Aintree folks and come along on this little trip with me. We all right for that? Yes. You join us here at Taintree, the 4.30 taxi chase coming to you live. It's a lovely day. Dry uh, ground and everything, and everyone's had a good time. We're just waiting for the first entrance to come through the door. Here she is, the first runner, in the brown, skin tone. Let's call this one... Let's call this one Dress Your Age Love. <laughs> and the second one coming through the, the, uh, the gate here in the orange, skin tone. Let's call this one tits too big for dress. <laughs> and finally through the gate, my not bad neighbour by the way. Let's call this one looks like a slapper. <laughs> and they're looking for a taxi. And they're off and it looks like a slapper taking an early leader's coming down the road towards the taxi. It looks like a slapper and then tits too big for dress and dress your age love is come to the first obstacle, which is the pole. Let's see how they go on the pole now. First two, it looks like a slapper and then dress your age love. She lost her shoes in the head earlier on today. She doesn't give a shit. It's dress your age love and looks like a slapper and tits too big for dress. And first away, it's dress your age love moving down the road and it's dress your age love. Looks like a slapper and tits too big for dress as they come to the next obstacle, which is the grid. Let's see how they go over the grid now. First over the grid there is dress your age love, then tits too big for dress and looks like a slapper as they come down the road and looks like a slapper has fallen, looks like a slap has fallen, there's tits and minge everywhere but they're carrying on, and it's dress your age love and tits too big for dress coming to the final obstacle which is the curb, let's see how they go over the curb now, safely over, it's dress your age love, she's got no shoes on remember, dress your age love, safely over the curb, and tits too big for dress, and first to the taxi there is tits too big for dress, then dress your age love, and further back down the field getting fingered by the blood by the burger van, is looks like a slapper, folks that's me for tonight, thanks for uh, having some time with me, enjoy the rest of the evening, Good night. <laughs>